Okay, okay welcome, welcome back, back to the uh, uh, head, head coach, coach series for. Uh, for uh, oh, I'm all still, still sorry. <laughs> Uh, welcome, welcome back, back to the head coach, coach series uh, for the New Orleans Saints, Saints head coach 09. We, we just finished up preseason week three with a defining moment game. Uh, 45 to 21 was your final over the Bengals. We are 3 and 0 in the preseason. Not that that means anything. It's the regular season that counts. But I want to go ahead and do this little mini episode where I'm showing you what's going on during the week, uh, and then uh, we'll finish out this particular video. Uh, right there as we play the Dolphins in week four preseason. So this should be uh, interesting. We're going to have at least one cut day, a couple of practices, maybe one practice and a cut day. Uh, so we'll see We'll see what happens here. Approval change for the defining moment. That's from the game we just played. So everybody kind of got happy again. Box scores we looked at in the previous video. Uh, progress report. Let's see if we find out anything new about anybody. I think we found out about everybody, though. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah. Chase Ortiz, Ortiz might, might get cut. cut. Who's hurt? Warren Adams is out for a while. There's, There's a couple of guys, guys that are tired. I'm surprised. I don't, I don't, I don't know if Jinx him, but I'm surprised early is still healthy. Um, but, but he will be a beast if he stays. Injury alert, Jari Evans. Out three to five weeks with a broken arm. arm. Okay, so probably going to have to keep some off offensive line. Josh Cooper. Train boy muscle out three to five weeks. Woo! Out seven to 12 months. IR. Okay, Robert Meacham's on IR. So let's go free agents in that case. Because uh, I will need a wide receiver to take his place. And you know who I want to go get if he's still out there? I want to find my boy uh, that I had to cut. If I can find him. Uh, I, I knew his No, did somebody pick him up? Yeah, burn it. He's, he's like a 58, 58 overall. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. That, that would allow me, because you can, can uh, be, okay. okay. Can, can I look at, can, can I, I not look at his, oh, man, man I can't look at his darn release. I don't care about release. Route running, no. He's, he's not, he's not, not good catch. catch. I want, I want to see his return capability is what I want to see, but go ahead. is that an option? For those of you that are wondering why I'm looking at this particular 34-year-old, 5'8", 165 receiver at 59 overall, uh, if you're not a Saints fan, this guy used to be known as the Beer Man. He was a hella kick returner for us, but we do have good kick returners already on the roster, so I may just lay off of that. Um, I don't, I don't need, need anybody good, per se. se. I just need, I, I tell you what, you know what, what we'll do? Let's, let's take a chance on one of these zero guys. Uh, who's down, down here? Oh, oh there's Dorian Bryant. He was, why, why is he a zero? zero? I know what he is. I literally know what he is, but do I want to take a chance on somebody else? Mark Smith, six foot five. Most Slayton. Steve Johnson. Stevie Johnson? Oh, wow, I remember him. He actually ends up being a pretty good receiver. Jamar Johnson, Pierre Garçon, another guy who became a really good receiver. Sure, we'll get we'll pick up Pierre Garçon. Yeah, we'll pick up Pierre Garçon. Uh, defensive end. Let me. Uh, who's out here at defensive end? Okay. Do I, how about left end? Can I look at left end? Uh, we need somebody that can swing inside or outside. 280, he could play inside. He's big enough to play inside. Or get a DT that could swing and play outside as well. A lot of big boys there. Chastain. Mike Wright would be a guy that could go outside if he had to. I'm mainly looking for guys to play that could play. That actually might not be a bad pickup because he could he could play outside if he had to, but he wouldn't be super good at it. Who's the best? Uh, show me the best power moves here. Uh, you would be better. Oh man, why are you? What's your overall? Why are you so low? Sixty-seven. Uh, oh, my roster is full. Oh man, this sucks. This sucks. Okay. So I did, I did sign, sign uh, a wide receiver to basically replace Robert Meacham. 
Let's, Let's see, see what, what else I can do here. Uh, nope, can't. I can't find anybody. anybody. I don't know why you're saying. Ryan Fitzpatrick! Oh, oh, look at him. He's, he's so shiny and not bearded in 23. <laughs> Uh, uh, this, this is back, back whenever he had hope and it wasn't on his 25th team. Nope. nope. Don't need you. Good, good luck in the good, good luck in this game, game though. Uh, uh, scouting report on the Dolphins. Again, I've shown this off in other videos, videos but I really like the scouting report and how it works and operates. Uh, uh, if you're not familiar with it, check out some of the other videos where I kind of show it off a little bit. Specifically, the Houston Texans Week 1 game. Or, no, Arizona Cardinals Week 1 game, excuse me. Uh, I, I do show it off a pretty good bit, so you may not be able to hear me talk about it too much, much though. Uh, so, so I might go back into detail with it in, a, in a, maybe a week one video whenever I actually want to look at this particular stuff. Preseason, I don't really care about it so much. We're well, probably not going to get a practice in, which is fine. There's a Superdome in the background. Now the Caesar Superdome. I think it's a, it wasn't even called, no, it was just a Superdome at this point. It was not even the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. All right, so we're cutting to 57. Printers, man, you, you had a really good start, but you just kind of faded at the end, and that's not good. Uh, we need, I feel like we need six wide receivers. Three tight ends. Good Lord, I feel like we need every single one of these damn guys. I tell you what, it's kind of ridiculous how many injuries we've had on the offensive line. Uh... To the, the point, point where I'm just, just about ready to say I'm going to try and keep as many of them as I can. Cooper's out. Four DTs. Man, there's just... There's not a lot of fat left to cut. Troy Evans can go. Because he's been hurt anyway. Do I have... Okay, I have... Here's... Okay. Uh, Josh, yeah, I can't cut the trick still. Josh Barrett, man, look. This is a tough one. And, and man, man, the, the next, next cut's going to be even tougher. tougher. i got to get down to 53 next go. go. Who, Who am I going to cut next go? go? Like, like, that's, that's actually a good question. question. Who am I going to cut? Because I'm, I'm minimum, minimum there, minimum, minimum there. there. Right, right there, I'm good. Minimum. 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 I'm going to have to cut off this line. line. That's going to suck. Because I've got two guys out for a while. I've got... Evans is out, and I, I think Adams is out, too. And I'd hate to cut Hale. I mean, I hate to cut any... Oh, man, that's going to be... Yeah, I'm going to have to cut Hale and Hodgson. Because we can't cut Sullivan, I drafted him. Hodgson ends up being a pretty decent center. Uh, yeah, i got to cut... Uh, i got to cut Barrett now. I've got to keep off of the line as long as possible. That sucks. Man, Man, that sucks. sucks. Well, I, I do get a game a day of practice in. Uh, let's go with let's go with Pierre Garçon because this kid needs to catch up and get the playbook in. And I think what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna work on the depth chart, so that way this video could be a little bit a little bit more meat on the bone. Colts is a 54 quarterback. Why? What? Oh, because he, he, he can run. run. That's pretty, pretty much all it is. He can run. run. Okay. Who's, a, who's after that? Doucette, Jackson, Bush, Garçon, Simpson, McAllister. Okay. Halfback. Okay, McAllister is still out. And I don't know why. Like, I literally don't know why. That's kind of confusing. I need to look at the, I need to look at the injury report on that. Hold on. Where's the... Uh, Injury report. Okay, I don't. I don't. Is, is it under? Is it? Is it I might have to go to health and fatigue. Uh, I don't like using health and fatigue though. It doesn't really tell me anything. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to health and fatigue. Okay, whatever. Halfback. Yeah, he's not even on the list right now. What the hell? Uh, depth chart. So I guess since he's not on the depth chart, or since he's not out here, so we're going to go Bush, Thomas, Buckingham ahead of McAllister, and we'll go Buckingham ahead of Thomas. Uh, where's Thomas at? There he is. Okay. What 
what is the... Uh, let me look up here now real quick. I wonder what he grew in. I'm kind of looking to see if what, what I could maybe know. Maybe elusiveness? Because I feel like, like those numbers weren't near that high. Carry not great. Is catch? Better than it should be. It should be better than that. Injury 65. Yeah. I'm going to have to look at injury and just be like, okay, guys, if you have high injury, you need to be on my team. If you're a low injury, you need to be the hell off my team. Uh, 65 strength. Damn, look at that trucking. That's redonkulous. 35, 84, carries, look. Catch is 78? My goodness. Got hella hands out of the backfield, too. 40 with the 90 max. Yeah, that might, uh, that might put some jeopardy on my boy, uh, Deuce McAllister. That's kind of sad. Because Deuce, Deuce getting up there as far as mileage. But he's still got capabilities. I mean, he still can play. Injury, yeah, we definitely need to boost that injury up. Jeez. Okay. Fullback. Oh, I know what that is. Let's get, uh, let's put... Let's do Kyle Brady as the backup, and then who, where is my third string tight end? Where is he? Mark Campbell can be the third third fullback. Colson, Simpson, Jackson, Doucette. I actually like that because I like having Simpson as the number two guy. Jackson and Doucette and the slot, basically my speed guys with Moore and uh, Garçon, who may take me a while to find because they'll probably be at the bottom of the roster with a question mark. Yeah, okay, so then uh, we'll put him in there. <coughs> may try and see, excuse me, if uh, he can get some work in. LJ Smith is out, but I don't know how long. Okay, that's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. Uh, let's, oh, is Adams, Adams out too? Yeah, Adams is out too. So let's get Jamar Nesbitt over there. Oh, uh, wait, Allemans. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Because preseason week four, I think they're going to put the backups in. So I want to put Allemans in, in, and then I'll start Nesbitt week one. Because I want to start him because I think. Evans, Evans is going to be out a couple of weeks. And, and then here, yeah, yeah I was talking about cutting old teeth because of the low potential. potential. Uh, I have to keep him around, too. Smith and Cooper's, Cooper's out, so I need a defensive, defensive end. Or somebody, somebody who can play defensive end, end which... Uh, do I have anybody? Not really. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas is tired. Why is he fifth on the depth chart? chart? Antoine Lake, Hollis Thomas, Hollis, uh, Josh Cooper, Hollis Thomas, Antoine uh, Cooper for Lake, and Thomas, or Mahalona for Thomas. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I think, let me see what it is. What pass rush moves? Okay, 65, 25. That's pretty much generic. Jesse Mahalona. 65, 25. That's pretty generic. Yeah, I think I might put Antoine Lake as the backup for. Uh, so Antoine Lake would be the backup for right now to. Uh, Josh Cooper is going to take his spot. So, Jesse Malone ranks as 65, so maybe I'll put him in and I'll leave Blake in there. So I need backups for a couple of weeks until those guys get healthy. Vegeta, Craig, Terrell Suggs is out, so he should be back for regular season. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Shanley and Vegeta playing the right outside linebacker spots behind Suggs. Gay Gamble, McKenzie, and no Kraft is going to be Kraft is going to be out next anyway. So let's get Kraft out of there, Kraft, and let's get Will Height in here because Will Height is the fifth guy I'm going to keep anyway. Free safety, Case Horn. I really want to keep Boyd. I mean, uh, Hornet. Uh, let's put. Put Roman Harper there in that third spot. 
belts. Why is Roman Harper not here? And wow, he beat out Roman Harper. Holy crap, he beat out Roman Harper. Okay. Not what I was anticipating. So, Kirk Stelts, you're going to be the backup still. And then we're going to put Case Bahan at the backup third string. Okay, kicker front, kick returner. Moore Jackson, Gamble Bush, Gay. And then punt returner is going to be. Should be Deshaun Jackson, Ollie, Lance Moore back there, kickoff specialist. Long snapper. Who's the best long snapper? Okay. Third down back, Reggie Bush. Yeah, that's my lucky team. Should be the second string guy. Uh, what's the face? Should be third string. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Okay. So that fixes our depth chart. Now let's get to game day so I can go ahead and end this video. Let's look at the practice recap real quick. So we learned a couple of plays, got some mastery there, okay, dig that. Uh, free agent bid, I'd love to make it, but I can't, because I don't have any room on the roster. So we can avoid those guys, and two days left to Miami. Abdul Hodge, Fred Matua, I'm looking for Teague, we get more. Yeah, we get a little more practice. practice. Good deal, good deal. Alright. Um, let's work on... Let's work on bringing more playbook knowledge. Coach Simpson. Simpson. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's get this practice recap in. Let's have Schefter tell us how bad we are. Or good, I'm not real sure. I haven't muted, so I don't know. <laughs> you guys will know, but I won't. Okay, there we go. Can I, can I bid? I'm just curious if I can even bid. I will 2.2, I'm not bidding, but you know, hey. Aaron Scoja, fan gardener, little staff. Ooh, do I have. Oh, see, that's the one good thing about letting the coordinators call plays, is they do build up skill points if you have success, and we did have some success. Gibbs, you, you still need 3,500. Oh, no, 3,000. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. Perfect. perfect. Yes. Good, good, good. good. And, and look, look, his overall skill went up to 23. 23. Nice. Boom. Boom. Marone. Yeah, yeah you're going to get you're, you're going to get development, too. Or, yeah, yeah performance, performance, I'm sorry. You, you jumped up to a 33. Cool, cool, cool. cool. I'm, I'm close to the one I want. I'm three in play calls. I thought I was only two. Oh, oh, strategy, I'm a dumbass too, man. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, special skills. skills. Wrong one. I was, I was like, man, I'm going to take a while getting down there. Nope, 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 nope. nope. And these 8,500, I need 1,000 more. So, that's fine. Carmichael. Okay, Carmichael's a 77 overall. He probably doesn't need a whole lot that I can give him. He'd be a hell of an offensive coordinator. I'll tell you what. I might, I might, I might consider, consider firing Marone at the end of the season, depending on how we do, and hiring Carmichael and let him be the, the, the uh, being the man, and then maybe try Lombardi at quarterback coach and hire a better offensive line coach. We'll see how it goes. That's just really, really general planning. Cromer, okay. Can you get no? Everything is level three, so you need you need more points. Okay. Uh, Curtis Johnson, okay. You can do play call, but you not calling play, so. Uh, tight end, there we go. Learning development for tight ends, that's perfect. So let's get you built up there. Uh, O-line. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you need, you need help everywhere. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and work on assisting physicals. And, hey, you're a five now. That's good. Joe Vitt, can you do, you're pretty much maxed out, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to be, you're old, so that doesn't surprise me. Uh, not, not as a knock, knock on him, just he, he's an older guy. Uh, I'd like defensive line coach. I'd like him to get that performance. So, yeah, we'll, we'll wait on that. And Mikey Lewis, I'm thinking special skills. I think I'm going to just hang on with special skills. And so, Ben Major, okay, so I need 6000 for that. And then draft, intuition, potential intuition. Ooh, that's nice. My 
Um, so yeah. yeah. There we go. And and my, my trainer, trainer geez, geez, he should be like an expert by now. My, my gosh. Well, let's see what I can do here. I can do accurately the trainer can assess recovery length. How long will it take injured players to recover? How efficiently they assist in working fatigue. So he's pretty much below average at everything. Okay. And we are now at game day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it and I'm going to go ahead and save it here. And that'll be it for this little mini episode. Uh, uh, next episode, episode we will be playing the Miami Dolphins, Dolphins in preseason week four, so tune in for that. Uh, we'll, we'll try some different things, see if we can speed up the episodes even more, maybe do some more Super Sim stuff, even though I do like watching. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can mix that in and pepper it in as time to get the, uh, try to get the episodes down a little bit without editing heavily, uh, which I may end up having to do anyway, which I, I really don't like doing, but we'll see. Um... As, As always, always, if you like, like what you're watching, watching uh, leave us a like, both on my channel, channel and on Grown Folks, where they'll both be broadcasting this, this content. Uh, always subscribe if you can. If, you're, if you like what you're seeing as well, likes and subscribes are always a good way to let me know if you keep doing what I'm doing, and also comments. Uh, feedback is always welcome, good or bad. Uh, I'm a big boy, I can take it. Uh, so, so if there's anything, anything you think I should be changing or doing that would make this more enjoyable for you to watch, let me know and I'll do my best to incorporate it. I uh, appreciate you uh, checking this out and until next time, catch you later.